I mean, no. if if I I think personally, personally, what I believe is gonna happen is oh. I think they're gonna scratch the entire hero ranking system. At the oh, end of the so I mean, every, every cop out possible. Bro, <laughs> yeah, yeah, so Once it happens and I'm right again, I don't want to hear shit. I don't want right to again. What were we right again? What was wrong? What was wrong? What was wrong? It's crazy. Right there. Ty, Ty's ready. Ty's ready. <laughs> That's devious. Like he, he came up, hooded up, everything. Just looked oh, at man, me. I have a question, man. Uh, it's already an agenda. I mean, people might think it's that, but it's just, it's just a question more so. I want to get you, you know, you guys' thoughts because you know I really care about what you guys think, right? Uh -huh. So you know, like, my agenda last week was you know Baco potentially number one hero, right? Yeah. Uh, my question is this: Let's say for the sake of conversation, Deku can't be number one hero. Let's just say that's true. Who do y'all think out of his generation should be the best option for the number one hero and why? I actually, I was thinking about this, Ty, when you asked this in the group chat, and I actually, <laughs> like, it would actually skyrocket my hero and my boards for me if this is what happened, because I feel like Bakugo should be number one, right? Mm. And Todoroki, because of all the stuff with Endeavor and his father being number two and the trauma of his childhood of him trying to force him to, like, eventually be the future number one hero... Mm -hmm. If he were to be the number two and have like a moment with his dad where it's like where he's content with that and he's fine being in that role, I think like getting over that trauma of that, like the, I feel like the, for the whole family, for him as a character and for Endeavor, I feel like that would like just do wonders if he was just number two. And he's like and he's fine with that and he's fine with just being in mm -hmm. that role. So I think that would be probably one of the best things for my hero if he ended up being the number two hero. Um, you're, you're a good man, Lonnie. Good man. Yeah, I completely disagree with that whole it's good for him stuff, I'll be honest. Um, I'll be honest. When it comes to My Hero Academia, I predicted a lot, like, a long time ago, like a few years ago, that Todoroki was going to be the number one hero. Kind of the similar to, like, the idea of Bakugo being number one hero because – Deku, I don't think, will end up at the end of the series number one hero. Now, I don't know exactly how it's going to happen, whether it's Deku dies or Deku loses quirk. But I had the feeling by the end of my hero, technically, like, Deku won't be number one hero. That's what I felt for, like, a long time. So I, I had Todoroki number one for a while. Now, with this current event, it's kind of up in the air. I'll be honest. It's up in the air, whether it's going to be Bakugo or Todoroki. I personally... To do, I'm like favorite Todoroki because Todoroki is my favorite character. But based on what they both did, I think it should be a tie. I think they should both be number one hero or okay. scratch the number one. There's, there's, there's no ties in the rankings. But what what does that what does him being number one do for his character? It doesn't do. It doesn't really do anything for Todoroki's character because most of his trauma is from he his dad trying to number force number him to be number one. He's actually right about that. He's actually right about that. The whole the, the whole issue, the whole reason for Todoroki existence was for him to be a hero to su surpass all might so, so if he's I, not number right. one then, like he he like oh. is accepted anyway by endeavor and it's just like hey it's okay that you're not number one i feel like that's way better than him being number one no that sounds mm. like beta shit to me when it comes down to todoroki <laughs> i think at this point if he actually becomes number one i mean he surpasses dad because he also wants to surpass his dad as well so at that point Passing his dad doesn't mean being number one though yeah, I mean, I mean his dad is number one, so him being number one, how does that surpass him? Endeavor doesn't feel like he's number one. So, so Todoroki okay. just gonna suddenly feel like but, he's number there, one, and also their relationship, and and it's, and I think it means not feel like he's number one. And I also don't think their relationship he currently doesn't feel like on that one. anymore either. <laughs> so would he not? So would he not feel similarly because Deku was not able to be number one? Wouldn't that be the same boat? In this situation, I mean, I feel like you could argue it, but it'd be even worse if Bakugo was just better than him. At that point, Bakugo and Todoroki are the two are going to be the two lasting heroes. So Deku sacrificed himself. I think that's a valid thing. Oh, he doesn't really feel, but if it's him and Bakugo both kind of sharing the spotlight, I mean, I think that's okay at that point. I don't think. Um, I think it's. I think it's more beta shit that you you want a participation trophy and them to split being number one. That's <laughs> even. That's even. That's even, that's even more. That's even cornier, bro. Who wants to share number one with somebody? Then you might as well not Who, be. In the hero that, I think. I think. I think the. I think. I think going from it'd be cool if they both be number one to satisfy Endeavor and satisfy Bakugo. I don't even think that makes sense because ultimately Bakugo is literally shown in the entire series that. 
He's been all about absolute victory and being uh, number one. And uh, and literally, I y'all agree. remember, y'all remember in the tournament, bro. He they had to put metal and restrain him with Magneto because he was finna lose his mind because he didn't like the way he won the tournament. So mm-hmm. you think let's let let's just be candid about like let's take away the fact that who our favorite characters are based off their vibes and all of that. Let's just be honest about what they the moments of their in their in their shows. Todoroki to me has not really cared about being number one. I think he's at one point he just cared Absolutely. about showing his dad. He cared more to show his dad like I could win with just ice. You feel me? Like I don't even need your power. He was really just trying to be better than what his pops was. I don't think being the number one hero for Todoroki ever meant this makes me better than my dad. I think he would have been content being a great hero only at one point just only using his ice side. Bakugo's whole character since we've met him is I am the effing best. Him. I am him. You, if, if, I, you know, I'm, and shout out to Netflix for putting uh my hero on Netflix because I've been just having you know when you go from that like 12 a.m. to 2 a.m. just ripping a show. I'm watching these old episodes. Bakugo thought he was the number one hero in the world from the moment he came out of his mom's womb. The moment he was born, he was the number one guy. So I don't see a situation where they would split it. Um, they would split that 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 opportunity or that that role i think it would clearly be one or the other i just i just speaking of netflix i just watched the episode where bakugo had his deku's head like a football yeah you know, bro. He <laughs> it. Ah, it was so good i mean no. if if i i think personally personally what i believe is gonna happen is oh. i think they're gonna scratch the entire hero ranking system Every cop out possible. Once wack. it happens and I'm right again, I don't want to hear shit. I don't want to hear shit. Right again. Right right again. Yeah, what, what was you wrong about? What was you wrong about? You're right about the word again. It's crazy. Right now, you've been consistently wrong. What do you mean you're right? What was you right about? Yeah, what was you right about? What was you right about? Oh, the real final villain, all for one? Showing back up in the series, the whole idea that Bakugo is gonna beat him. That's a rep, yeah, that's a remnant of him. No, 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 no. What are you talking about? You said, hold on, say, no, 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 right now. You said he's a fraud. If that I'm saying no, he's not. That was the point that we made. Y'all thought all for one was not gonna return to the series. What are we talking about? No, you said if he doesn't return, he's a fraud. We said no, he's not. Ty, are if you saying Ty, okay? That's fu- I'm not even gonna address that point. Are you saying, Ty, that at that point when we were having our debate? That you thought all for one was going to return back to the series? No, I didn't think he was going to come back. Okay, then what are we talking about? Is I he said actually he back, or is that just a rem- is that just a remnant? It's in a his vestige mind? of him. It's a vestige. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of him. Okay. So it's not he's not really back. Anyways, you don't. And, know. And, and, and I ain't gonna lie. In, in there, and Riddell, I don't, and Riddell, they're right. No, Riddell, yeah. they're right. Riddell, they're literally right though. They're literally right though. I mean, they the vestiges still exist post these people's death. But also, we've it's seen like Alpha Ruben multiple proven. times yeah, trying like, to take over Shiggy's mind, and he's and it hasn't worked like two, three times. Two, three times, I Alpha One's trying to I control. Mean, it's crazy. It's I don't just don't 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 don't, 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 don't discredit Bakugo's win in the physical. I world. did it. I never don't, don't discredit that, bro. Don't no, discredit I, I, right 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 I've never discredited Bakugo's win. My point was it didn't make sense for Alpha One to lose and be done in the series then, which is why I was like. I think All for One is going to come back. What made sense to me is if Shiggy or Deku or both get rid of All for One, which is, looks like what's about to happen. Yeah, I could agree with that. And honestly, I'm fine with that happening because I will say this, though. I need a fight. <laughs> I'm going to just keep it up being, Riddell. The, uh, the, the, the simpleton in me, CTE in me, I, I'm kind of glad he showed back CTE. up. Because I'm going to just keep it up being, y'all. I'm, I, I didn't want to say this because I've been stamping – you know, my hero for a minute. I'm gonna let y'all know right now, y'all. I would have came back up here losing my mind if they both would have just disintegrated together or some shit like that. <laughs> In the if they both would have died together <laughs> on some like I'll say I swear to God, it would have been oh, it would have been a travesty. I need a fight. I need also wait to fight. for wait a second because random hasn't said anything about the Bakugo Todoroki thing. He's just been chilling. I mean, it doesn't mean so he could just be whoever he thinks could be the best number one hero in that generation. I don't know. This if you're going, if you're going in terms of the story, in terms of making narrative sense, it's Bakugo. Thank you. Bakugo would be the it just makes sense that he would be the number one hero. Now, obviously, I could get petty and say that's Mickey as fuck claiming some shit because the other guy gave it up. <laughs> Yo, no, no, okay? no, 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 no. Are you no, okay? No, come on. But bro. but but I'm, okay? I'm being 
Oh, no, this, no, 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 no. I, I mean, I, it's Endeavor 2.0 if we're being honest. I'm he said honest. I could be Mickey 2.0. It's crazy, Dark but you want Endeavor to, you want Toronto to be Endeavor 2.0, though. That's what you want. Uh, no, I want, I, 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 I want at this point, because I didn't think Deku was going to lose. It's only like Mickey that. when Ibako gets to Ty, you have to remember. I think, I think both First of them. First of all, it would be Mickey for both of them. I think they should just because, oh, because, wait, no, guys, no, guys, we're forgetting. We're forgetting. Riddell has a type. Riddell has a type. The emotionless. He does. The emotionless prodigy. Well, Which at is least overrated. Overrated. I mean, overrated. Right. Right. Like, you know, the you but know, least, the Aki. Like, yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. Okay. So say, his total rookie love. love. You want him to be number his one. Rookie love Trevor Lawrence. His total rookie love is more than okay. Don't look at it in real life. Real life taste and <laughs> anime taste is really though. different. You know what I'm saying? Life imitates Parker, though. Look, I, I, the only reason I'm I'm, I'm going to use Mickey, because first of all, I think it's funny, but also both guys, both Todoroki and Baku would say, yeah, sure, I'm number one, but they both know. Come on. It's a little fraudulent. They, they don't know. They don't I'm not going to say fraudulent, but Baku definitely not going to like it because he knows he's not the true number one. How is he, he not the true number one if he's, if he's literally the strongest? Because the guy who's a true number one lost his power. It's no longer no. Hold on, say, hold on, say, just stop because. It, stop it. No, no, so no, 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 right now. So you're telling I'm me going hold there. I'm going there. I'm going there. I'm going to ask you one question. I'm let you rock. I'm asking one question. I'm gonna let you rock. So when they, so when they have the ceremony, when they give number one the box, when they give Bakugo the number one hero status, he's just taking that and he's cool with it. After Deku gives up his power, he's not. He's not cool with it. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. Because Bakugo at the beginning of the series, maybe this Bakugo is not the same way. Like and, he, and he's acknowledged Deku. Come on, exactly. He's not, he's he's not cool with it. Come on, come on, come on. He's you, not going to be cool question. with you it the way y'all think he is. He's Random, not. You asked me a question. Why would he? Plus, you asked me a question. Let me ask you this. So this version, version, I'll go. Please, he acknowledges Deku. He literally says, Deku, you, you, the the greatest hero in the world chose you. Don't lose again. This is hey, you're you you're the like yo. You are the chosen one. Live up to it. Why do you upset that 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 Deku can't do it anymore, and he takes the reins afterwards? It would be like you all my almost. It'd be like yeah, like why I can't let Deku now? now. Yeah, I, I want to say, and y'all can like let's just let's just say for the sake of Deku, he loses uh all for one, one for all, and there's clearly going to be a conversation on some you know you have the reins, it's yours now. Like, you have to, yeah. you have to, and again, come on, I, I know, random, I know you do not like the person. That is Bakugo. I will never but I do the person, but it's you personal. have is it is personal, but you also have to credit the story as somebody who is very into stories and writing. I feel like yes. you can't you can't be blind eyed to this idea that he was one way to start the story. He is he is shown a clear, he is clearly shown an acceptance to his rival. He has shown that this you 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 were chosen to be great. I don't think I don't think it is. Crazy to see from the character development that why wouldn't he accept the mantle? I, you gotta I, remember, yeah. he's still a teenager. You say what we want, he was a teenager. Say how he got revived. He was a teenager who just went band for band with a big bad and he won. Not only that, literally, when he's fighting Shiro Rocky, he at least says, Deku, can I still catch up to you? Acknowledging Deku's a, is over him, like he's he's my his only, humility, my uh, only. Obviously, All I'm, I'm saying not. Is that we've seen we've we've seen Bakugo recognize his flaws and exercise so much humility Facts. post his fight. With, so why would he be then upset? My, my he, okay. Once he's again, once again, he's once already. Again, I'm a, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He's already acknowledged Deku's better than him. He's already acknowledged that. Once so again, I, I, okay. Once again, I've have I know it's it's a personal thing with me. Just just where, we, but once again, I have acknowledged the 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 the, the train that Bakugo has been on i've acknowledged his character development ty have i ever said that he's not what he was because i actually but my thing is just who he is when he gets the number one thing will he be proud that he's a number one hero yeah but you know he's gonna be like i don't i, don't I technically don't deserve i'm not saying he I don't but he's... come on bro wait hold on a second just so come so on, bro. You, you you you're only a like you only deserve number one unless you surpass the previous what no one just, that's not what one. i'm saying because he'd rather that's exactly when... what you're saying no, that's not what I'm saying at all. When Deku, if that's the way it goes, where Deku beats Shigaraki and he mm -hmm. loses one for all because of it, and he's now with just a regular civilian, and everybody's claimed that saying, All right, Bakugo, hey, you did it. You're the number one hero. Bakugo's gonna be like, That's cool. I'm the number one hero, but there's always gonna be a little asterisk to it. 
How? There just is. He's going to be. This isn't the NBA goat debate. No, I'm not no, trying to it's say it's not. a goat debate, but he's not going to feel some type of way about it. He's not going to feel that. He's going to feel some type of way about it. He's going to be sitting there because he'd rather be. He'd rather take the title from Deku when Deku's at his best, not when he lost the power. That's no, how Bob wait, 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 wait. Yo, but hold on, hold on, but hold on. Can even, I say even something? Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. Now, I'm going to be honest, but you also disrespecting, you disrespecting, um, you're disrespecting Bakugo's values as a hero now. Because at the end of the day, I don't think Bakugo's uh, duty as being a hero supersedes, be, supersedes his ego. If he is titled the number one hero to protect people, I think Bakugo has already shown. I mean, as much as Bakugo has, you know, his personality tendencies he's had to develop. I mean, bro, he has prioritized human lives, time in, time out. He has shown every he's shown every single prerequisite at this point in the story that he is a true hero. I'm so if he is being, if he was, if he was ranked, because let's be honest, the heroes don't choose if they're ranked number one. They are chosen to be number one, and if he's chosen to be the number one hero. With all the qualities that he has displayed, he's not going to say, I don't deserve this. I don't deserve this honor because I think he's very aware that people need him. And I also think we're not we're not talking enough about the impact that I think even Endeavor had on the three of them throughout the story when they when they worked under him. Like I, I think they understand the responsibility of having to be the top hero because you are bigger than just a superhero, man. They are they literally. They're symbols, like they are. Era, I'm not saying if he, he wouldn't be a good hero, he would be a great hero. Clearly, his journey as a character defines that. He clearly would be. I'm not saying that, but I'm still saying I still think even with all the development that Bakugo has, at the end of it, he's still like, I wish I got this title when Deku was at his best. Not because, not because, quite frankly, Deku lost his power. So you don't I think he's grown. You don't think he's grown I, I from the beginning, and he would be able that. to like. Why would he care? Is the question. My question for everybody on the panel, real quick, is do you think there's at least a possibility, like a possibility, that Bakugo says no to be number one? No. It's very small. Um, I'd say it's very small. Like five percent. I'm wait, not wait, even wait, I'm wait, I'm wait, giving wait. it one percent chance. Well, he says no to he says no to number one, and then what? Because yeah, if Deku can't I, even be a hero, and then yeah, I don't think he would say no. You have you would have to you'd have to what what Maybe I don't think he would say no because he understands. It's, number one. Like J. Rob said, J. Rob said he understands the significance of that title. He understands that there's a reason why. And Dever understood it too when he fought that gnome and did the pose at the end. That shit meant some, mean something. But I'm still saying that he would feel some, even if he'll never say it in his head. In the back of his mind, is like he'll still be like, "I wish I took this from him at his best." Mm -hmm. There's a reason why he's still acknowledging him. I still think he would take. He wish mm -hmm. he took it from him at his mm -hmm. best, not because. And I know y'all don't want to hear it. Deck no, losing his power, is, it's a big, it's, it's going to be a big catalyst to him being number one. I don't know. Okay, but can for I, example, do y'all do y'all think that Endeavor as he is now, if he if the same situation happened with All Might went down, y'all think Endeavor as he is now would be like because remember he was mad at first, but I don't think Endeavor as he is right now would be concerned about that. Yeah, because no, no, he had to he go through all that, but he was, he he was mad at first. That. He's like, it's my time. I have to be, have to be that simple. But he was Baku mad at first. That's that's I, what I'm I saying. Know, the is going to take him some time to throw into it. The point I'm making is that Bakugo already experienced that. His version of that was knowing that All Might picked him. That's his experience of knowing I'm not as good as I thought I was. That's that's what that was. He experienced it, and he's acknowledged it. Look, I want... Kai sums it out. Kai sums it out very well. I mean, we get the premise. I think Ty's yeah, just but no, we, 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 can I, we understand the premise. We just disagree with who because that's not who Bakugo is anymore. I, I, I'm, yeah. I'm not. I'm not discrediting the fact that maybe in some ways Bakugo may his heart wish that he could have had the chance to maybe fairly prove that he could have been a better hero or he was stronger than Deku. However, I do think the issue with you saying that he's gonna have a problem or he will not accept the title is because I'm not I, that at all. I think in that at all. He will okay, definitely, he understands the significance okay, of the title. Okay, he will definitely take. All right, it. so then he may. I, he, I don't think he'll be, there'll be an open discussion about him not like having the title. No, no, it'll be more of a personal because, thing for him. It'll be more of a yeah, personal. Yeah, thing and, for and him, I, yeah, and in my, and I don't know if it gets written in or not. But the reason why I, I bring that up is because you know I think we forget that like you know my hero does focus on the fact that these people in their world 
the they need symbols. Like even with the the TV scenes with Endeavor, I mean, even if you look at the scene with um where Ed shot where Ed shot saved Bakugo, bro said like this kid right here, this the future, this is what we got to bank on. That was his duty as a hero. That was his duty as a hero though, to realize that my job is instill is into is to secure the next generation of heroes. You know, like so I think you I think when you look at the the, the characters, they're bigger than they're bigger than just being heroes because I feel like they give a level of hope and their symbols to the people that they are serving. That's a good point. Here's um here's I'm gonna I'm gonna start doing this. I'm gonna, this is called Riddell's headcanon. This is what I think could happen, right? Mm-hmm. So with Riddell's headcanon, oh we could have a situation Dude, where is, is okay, Bakugo and Todoroki realize, yeah, maybe maybe we aren't those guys. Maybe Deku is. They that wouldn't. Guy. Man, well, hold on, random. Hold on. So then with it, <laughs> the, they decide. Wrong. They figure it out. They go like, we need that symbol, like J Rob was talking about. So we're gonna have a permanent symbol. That permanent symbol, is Deku. Nobody else is number hey, one. Hey, y'all can talk mess about me, but I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this, y'all. Hey, y'all hey. can talk mess about me okay. all you want. I'm, I'm not I'm doing this. I'm gonna right save, I'm gonna hey, save this whole conversation. Happens, man. Save us, 